So this is a drawing of the Calvin cycle. But it's a little hard to visualize exactly what's going on with just these uh, little drawings here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these Lego bricks to represent carbon. So here's one carbon, and we can use that to be our carbon dioxide. And the Calvin cycle starts when a 5-carbon molecule, ribulose bisphosphate, combines with this one carbon from carbon dioxide to make six carbons, which immediately gets split into these two three-carbon molecules here. Those get reduced. And then there are two things that have to happen with these three carbon molecules. First of all, they have to be used to regenerate the ribulose bisphosphate so the whole cycle can continue. But they also need to be used to make an important six carbon molecule, glucose. And remember that making glucose is what, pho is what photosynthesis is all about. So it looks like there's a problem. How can we use these same three carbon molecules to make a glucose and at the same time regenerate ribulose bisphosphate? Well, we can't if we imagine the Calvin cycle just being the molecules that you see here. Inside the, the chloroplast, you got to remember there are lots of all of these molecules around. So there's big pools of these three carbon molecules, and some of them can get taken and put together to make a glucose, while others can be used to regenerate the ribulose bisphosphate. And it's only when you imagine the chloroplast like this, with these big pools of all these different molecules there, that you can really understand how the Calvin cycle works. Thank you very much. That makes a lot of sense. You're welcome.